Alrighty folks, so we're doing an oil change today in a 2005 Pontiac G6. All you need for this is the oil it recommends, 5W30, the oil filter, the 13 millimeter wrench or socket, whatever you got, and then also an oil wrench. I'm not for sure what the size is on that. You'll have to test it on your filter to make sure it fits. So then the next thing you need to do is jack your car up. There are several ways to do this, several points. Um, you can actually jack it up on this real red However, My car is so old, I don't trust jacking it up there because there's actually an arrow right here. It says you can jack right there. I don't because it's all rusted. I'm afraid what will happen is I'll bend my door all up and I don't need that. So I decided to jack it up on the frame. You could also jack it up on the A-arm that's behind the tire. Just whatever you prefer. All right. So now after you get underneath your car, get it jacked up you get underneath here the oil plug is located on the bottom of the motor the oil filter is right next to the motor it's pretty easy to see and um, i've already loosened that up so all you have to do is you just uh take that off um make sure you put your wrench or your socket on there pretty simple so now after you get the oil plug out you just let the oil drain into your oil pan um like i said just let it drain until it starts dripping really slow you could also, if you have a big enough oil pan, you could go ahead and take your filter off next. It depends what you're using as an oil pan. Um, I've got, but the oil's still coming out pretty slow, but I happen to have a pretty good size oil pan, so I can actually do this all in one swift move. You might have to do this in steps, but next I can actually take the oil filter off. Now this is really messy. So those of you who don't like to get your hands messy, this is a job that you might want to wear gloves doing because this part can get pretty gross. But you just all you do is you loosen up your oil filter with your uh, oil wrench and then just drop the oil filter just right into your dirty oil right there. Alrighty, so I got the oil filter off. Like I said, that's what it looks like. I put the old filter in the dirty oil, just let it drop down. You can do it actually pretty quick if you're Got a fast enough hand so you don't get yourself super messy doing it. So next thing you want to do is you want to try to wipe that as clean as you can because you have to have a really good seal around there on the new oil filter. So let's do that next. So you see how that's dripping pretty slow right now? That is probably good enough. You go ahead and put your drain plug in. You don't have to get it all completely out. It's pretty much impossible to do that. You just want to get the majority of it out. It's not flowing like a water fountain now. And I went ahead and wiped that down nice and clean. A little bit of oil residue on the corner, but that's okay. I'm going to wipe it off before I actually put the filter on there. Like I said, there's still oil up inside there, so there'll always be a little bit leaking out. But you just don't want it smothered on there. I'm going to demonstrate how to tighten up a drain plug. Everybody tightens them either way too much or not enough. It's actually really simple. You just go tight. With as tight as you can with your hand. Okay, then you just kind of bump it a couple times. So just one, two, three. That's good. You don't need to crank it down. A lot of people do that. There's no need for that. There's a gasket on here that does the sealing for you. You just got to seal it tight enough so the gasket seals it. All right, <clears throat> so now I got the oil changed. I went ahead and put the new oil in there. So that's where it goes on the motor. I'll step back so you can get a better view. I'm just for bonus so you don't ever get confused. This is coolant, brake fluid, window washer fluid. This is where the oil goes. I know I shouldn't have to say that, but there are people who will screw up and put it in the wrong spot. So now after I let this drain, it's probably about drained enough, but I did want to show what I did with the old oil. I just put it in the garage for right now. I'm actually gonna dump it inside the, that container I just dumped the new oil into the car with. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna just get rid of this oil filter, just throw it in that garbage sack. Um, most trash um, will take the oil filters. However, they won't take the oil. You have to take that to like AutoZone or another place that recycles this stuff. So I'm just kind of letting the old oil drain into this, uh, the new container. The new oil is now in the car. I don't know if I can turn it just a little, get the rest of that lucky stuff. There was actually stuff sitting in my oil pan because it's been sitting in the uh, garage. So don't be like, oh my God, he's got some funky stuff coming out of his oil. No, that's just bugs and stuff that was um, in the oil container from my garage. 
And one thing I one thing that helps me remember when to do oil changes, I write down the date, the mileage I did it at, so I won't do it again until probably 183 or 184 thousand miles. Change the oil and filter. Just write down the oil type, the oil number, oil filter number, and that's pretty much it. Now what I'm doing now is just letting the car uh, idle for a little bit, let the oil get hot, and then what I'll do is I'll go underneath the car and check to make sure there's no leaks or anything. I, I say I, it shouldn't be, but you never know if you put the oil filter on there cockeyed, it'd leak, or if you didn't get the drain plug in tight enough, it would leak, but I'm pretty confident in my uh, work, so. That's all I have for you in this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.